Hi viewers, uh, this is the Volvo excavator 480D and uh, this machine is now starting you can see in front of you this edit is coming so I'm going to check what is the problem I don't have its surface manual so by hit and trial rule I try to check what is the issue this machine why this one not starting so I'm going to stop video here and uh, try to check the fuses here's our fuse box but uh, uh, you can see there's a fuse box is also not uh, showing the good conditions uh, we can't recognize the fuses so therefore I was saying you could we use the hit and trial rule so I'm going to move this uh, cover so so I have removed the cover so you can see we can uh, we can't uh, read it very well it's very difficult so by hit and try to just check all the fuses and check which fuses our prop fuses are okay so I'm checking the fuse one by one and check So viewers you can see okay, this problem is parking. Yeah. So I am not sure but I check it maybe this uh, fuse is loose. You can this spark making spark. So I think this is a problem. Fuse is okay. I check it you can see our our fuse is okay good one but it's uh, sparking so it is internally loose okay from here you can see just sparking so I think this one is a this fuse has problem this is a loose so also check all other fuse first so this power is coming here so this power uh, you know can see they have the power but it's a fuse is loose so I check all fuses one by one so so all fuses I think is okay so problem only this fuse this fuse become loose and uh, our uh, there is going to communication error is coming the communication error so now is everything is okay no one here okay i will remove this box and check inside why this uh, fuse is loose maybe in some inside maybe some stitches are uh, broken there is no uh, i am going to remove this board out from this box so I have to remove the screw there's one two and three three are this side and three on this side one two and three this six screw I will uh, uh, open and this this box will come out so before opening this board make sure your power is not here so I am going to remove the uh, switch off the uh, this uh, battery switch first I switch out battery switch then I remove this uh, uh, board so first I am going to this battery switch side so so here is our battery switch we have to off this first now the battery switch is uh, off and uh, now is no power and that board now I am can uh, open that board so viewers you can see I have uh, clean it and uh, now we check 
the stitches are looking uh, good looking don't have a problem so this one is our line one two so one two three four five this one this fuse so you can see the stitches no problem stitches are okay so what is the problem why fuse is loose so I check back side if we check investigate on this side okay so we can check so this one is a fuse this fuse this is a big uh, this space become big one okay so here is the you can see this one is small space and here is a big space so this is why this uh, fuse was uh, loose so i will uh, push this one and this one and make the space uh, little thinner okay so you can see this space become big one here is the good here's a little small space and here's a big space so fuse become loose from here so i will a little tight this area okay so i will push this one this area and this area and if it become little tight then our fuse become uh, fit to this area and it will not lose so you you can see here is the one strip is a little narrow and one is widen so i am going to make this strip narrow so then our fuse become fit so i will uh, take a, i will find a small strip and put it here so in this way our fuse will not uh, lose because back side our stitches are okay only this uh, due to burning or uh, maybe due to sparking this uh, these strips become open and our fuse become loose so this was the problem only so now i fix all the i will uh, i show you the problem so now i solve this problem fix back then let uh, I will go inside and check the problem. So viewers, now I have uh, uh, fixed this fuse, fixed also, fixed this fuse properly, and now fix this board also back. Now I am going to power switch on the battery switch, and after I will uh, uh, switch on the on off switch, and then uh, this is start switch. First I on the battery switch so you know before opening that uh, uh, fuse box i off the the switch now I, here now is the power battery switch is now on now i will uh, on the machine switch on the machine and uh, check the our fuses Okay, so now this uh, battery switch is on, and uh, you can see you now there is no code over. Okay, so first I go back side and check the fuse condition. Now I check the fuse. So this fuse you can no sparking. Before you see. I show this sparking now fuse is not no any sparking so fuse is okay no is not no fuse is a tight one not coming out and also no sparking before it was sparking like this now I by forcing this is a tight one but by force I shake it is not no spark is no spark so it means it's become good one so now our, I fix it fuse good one uh, before you know when this code was this uh, uh, error was coming machine was not starting so now I will uh, go inside and start the machine and check okay so now our board is okay one I fix it back properly now I start the machine so I'm inside the board and now I'm going to start the machine okay so machine is start now you can see the rpm okay 
when I increase the RPM from here dial so you can see the RPM is uh, increase now machine is start now is not any fault is coming now everything is okay so our fault has a uh, finish hope you like this video okay so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends so